Hey, hey, hey. Anybody out there yet? It's Randy. I'm waiting for you. Hello, hello, hello. I'm trying to get this glare out of my glasses. Hmm. It's just going to have to be that way. It's raining. It's pouring. The old man is snoring. Hey, Brianna. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you. I'm waiting to see who else joins us before I get started, but thank you for being the first one to say hey today. It is a rainy, ugly day. Boo. <laughs> um, I don't know if you can see, but I straightened my hair, and that's not a smart thing for a curly girl to do when it's raining all week, so... It's pinned back. I'm trying to keep it tame. Sunday, it was looking like I was a lion. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad you saw the recording. Definitely ask questions today. I'm here for you. I want to answer your questions. I don't want to just sit here and ramble on about stuff that you don't really care about. You're here to ask me questions. You did the same thing. You straightened your hair and then you went outside and realized that that wasn't the right thing to do today <laughs> yeah this weather stinks it is horrible i'm ready for it to go away and then like you know it's not just the rain it's the humidity once it stops raining and it's all sticky and steamy outside it's it's horrible for anybody who does not have bone straight natural naturally straight hair so um, another thing that's going on with me right now is that my daughter is getting ready to go to China. She's leaving um, next month to go to China for a year. So I'm a little bit emotional about all of that. But um, so she wants to have a going away party on the 11th of August. So I'm trying to plan her going away party. And then I have two events for my clients on August 12th. So I'm planning her party. I'm planning the decor for one party on Sunday and then a wedding reception Sunday night. And I got a lot of stuff going on. So, yeah, the hair thing is not really an issue when I think about all the other things that are going on in my mind right now. But that's not, I know, right? <laughs> but that's not going to stop me from helping you guys answer your questions. So, um... Don't forget to say hey when you sign in. Say hi so that I know that you're there. I can give you a shout out. Um, I'm starting to see a couple people pop in and out. So let me just kind of tell everybody who I am. If this is your first time joining a Facebook Live on Trilogy Event Designs page, thank you for being here. If this is not your first time and you are a repeat viewer, I appreciate you. Thank you for coming back. Um, I'm Randy Martin. I am the Chief Event Planner at Trilogy Event Design. I am a super busy lady. I have a lot of things going on. I teach wedding planning and consulting at Temple University in the Ambler campus. I um, also speak on stages at the bridal event by Boucher Productions. So um, those happen during the fall. So September through November and then January through May I'm on stages speaking to brides grooms moms bridesmaids the whole entourage <laughs> at bridal shows probably about 20 of them a year so right now we're on a summer break and I'm using this time to actually continue to give the advice that I normally would give on stage to those who decide that they want to join the Facebook live and get some individual attention so here I am I'm here for you say hi in the comments below so that I can give you a shout out I know who's here I know how to direct the um, comments to suit the audience I want to make sure that everybody is getting some value out of this 30 minute Facebook live and yes I am going to try to stick to the 30 minutes because I appreciate your time and is kind of late in the evening so ask your questions post them in the comments I'll answer them as I see them but I was just telling Brianna because she was the first one to join me I was telling her that I am 
planning a bon voyage party for my daughter who's going to be going to China next month. Um, actually, in just a few weeks. She's leaving on the 17th, so we're going to have a party for her on the 11th. And then I have client events on the 12th, two client events on the 12th. So there's a party in the afternoon and a wedding reception in the evening. So I'll probably be sleeping from the 13th until the 17th when I take her to the airport. Um, yes, my job is exhausting, but it's so much fun and it's so rewarding. I wouldn't trade it for anything. I love what I do. And I hope that from talking to me and hearing me answer your questions, you can tell that I love my job. I really do. I love what I do. So again, post your questions so that I can answer them. Um, I was talking to my bridal show producer on Sunday. We were we had a little meeting together and we were talking about um, some of the things that couples don't really know when they're first getting into planning their weddings. Um, it's timeline. So there's things that you need to account for in the timeline that might not be obvious to people who don't do this every day. So one of the things is like, adding buffers in between the events. So when you're doing a timeline for your event um, and you're going to actually be giving it to other people, like your photographer, like your DJ, like your venue coordinator, um, the catering manager, those people, you don't want to have it be like to the minute. So sometimes people will be like, it'll only take me two minutes to do this. So from 7.30 to 7.32, we're going to get out of the car. And from 7.32 to 7.35, we're going to walk to the entrance and wait for our introductions. And from 7.35 to 7.40, we'll be doing our introductions. So in the real world, I hope you know, shit happens. So your timeline is not going to work out that way. So what you should do is think more in the order of events for the timeline and then add extra time. So if you think something's going to take two minutes, make it five minutes. If you think something's going to take a half an hour, make it 45 minutes. Um, also, when you're thinking about the time that it takes for you to get from point A to point B in your transportation, so whether it's a limo, a party bus, a private car, whatever it is, Make sure that you allow time for traffic, you allow time for getting in the car, getting out of the car. So, for example, when you are wearing a great big wedding gown, it will probably take you a little bit longer to get into a car than it normally would when you're wearing jeans and a t-shirt. So, that's a thing. And then if you have, let's say you have five bridesmaids. It's not going to be like everybody walks in a single file line and gets into the car and it all happens on time. Somebody might forget something that they have to go back to the room for. Or you have that one friend who is notoriously slow, so she's still trying to fix her hair or put on her lipstick when everybody else is on their way to the elevator. So just make some more time for those types of things. So let's just say your um your limo is coming to pick you up at the hotel at 3 30 expecting to arrive at the church by 4 so that your ceremony starts at 4 30 give all of that a little bit extra time so if the the car usually will arrive early so if the car gets there early you can get some of the girls who are already ready to go get in the car while you're waiting for the others who are lagging behind to get in the car the bride should be the last one to get in the car so that nobody is ending up sitting on her dress or smushing her or something like that if at all possible i would say that the bride shouldn't even get into her dress until she gets to the venue that way there's no chance of you getting wrinkled or you know having to bunch up your dress and step on it while you're trying to get out of the car and things like that it's just a lot easier for you if you can get dressed at the venue where your ceremony is going to be um other things about the timeline i mentioned it a little bit earlier you want to make sure that everybody who is involved in your wedding gets a copy of it so even if the photographer already has their own timeline it doesn't include things like when your transportation is arriving when your hair and makeup is getting done when the um food is being served and things like that so you actually do need to have an all-inclusive timeline 
So everybody gets the same information from the same source. It is showing what everybody's supposed to do from deliveries to pickups at the end of the night and everything in between. So everybody knows what everybody's supposed to do. The worst possible thing is for the photographer to expect that they have more time than they actually do. And a lot of times that happens because the DJ may have a list of songs that the couple wants to dance to. And the photographer is not aware of all of these special dances that are extra that aren't like the regular first dance parent dances. So they think that they have time to take the couple away and go outside and take some midnight pictures or some moonlight pictures or something like that when they really don't because they have all of these other special things that they wanted to do or um they have more than just the bride, the I'm sorry, the maid of honor and the best man doing toasts. So they might have four people doing toast instead of two people, which takes more time away from what the photographer thought they were going to end up having for special pictures. So it helps that everybody gets the same timeline, all inclusive. It includes everything from the time that they wake up until the end of the night when things are being packed up and put in the car for them to go away. Um, anybody have any questions about that? This is something that your wedding planner should do for you. Um, I would not ever expect somebody who's never done a timeline to be able to do one successfully. So this is something that a wedding planner can do for you. This is not something that a venue coordinator would do because they're usually not involved in all of this planning part of it. They're usually um, only asking you the questions that pertain to them being able to successfully uh, fulfill your event at their venue. So that's a difference there too. Um, again, I want this to be an interactive Facebook Live, so please post questions in the comments below so that I can ask answer the questions that you have tonight instead of me just coming up with some things that I know you need to know. Um, while I'm waiting for that, because sometimes there is a delay, while I'm waiting to see your questions pop up, um, I'm going to talk a little bit more. <laughs> um, so... Earlier on, before a lot of you signed on, I was talking about how the humidity is killing my hair. So if you've watched any of my Facebook lives before, you know that my hair is not naturally straight. It is not. And I was a genius and decided that on Saturday I was going to get my hair straightened. And of course, it started pouring rain in while I was in the chair. So it, it didn't last very long. Nevi, hi, it's Randy. Ah, we went to class together years ago. It's so good to see you. So, um, yeah, so um, the, the hair thing. You need to get professional stylists on your big day. Even if you are very particular about your hair and there's only certain ways that you like to wear it and you know best how to do your hair, please, please, please enlist a professional to get your hair done for your wedding day because their tools and their products will help your hair stay in the style that you want it to. If you're doing an updo, they will pin it to death. If you are wearing it straight and long, they will spray it and make sure that it just stays straight. Um, you know, they'll use products that will block the humidity if that's a thing for you. Definitely use professionals for everything on your wedding day. I don't care if your uncle is the best DJ in the world. If he's never done a wedding before, he's not the best. He could be the best club DJ, the best backyard barbecue DJ. If he has never done a wedding before, hire somebody who knows weddings. There's just something different about weddings that the rest of them don't get. Like how to make introductions properly. How to make sure that they are not the one that's delaying the whole event. So I'll tell you, at a recent wedding, the DJ had some issues with the elevator loading his things in and he was still taking his time to set up even though he knew that the ceremony was about to start even though he was being told by me and the venue coordinator that he at least had to play some music so that when the guests were entering while he was finishing his setup they had some music playing in the room um and then the challenges continued when it was time for him to do the introductions um he was struggling with the introductions. He was struggling with how to introduce the people that were doing toast, um, how to get everybody to pay attention when it was time for the groom to dance with his mother, all those types of things. So it's really, really crucial that whoever you have as your wedding DJ 
absolutely is going to um, you like really know what they're doing. So, are there any tips for finding a good DJ? Yes. So one is to ask for referrals. So if you know people who have had weddings recently or you've been to weddings recently where the DJ was pretty good, ask for their information from the bride and groom at that wedding. Or you can also ask the other wedding professionals that you've already hired. So your photographer, the venue, they would know good DJs. Um, I also recommend that you don't just shop based on price. So it's really important to get references or to read reviews so that you can see what it is that makes one wedding DJ a little bit more expensive than another one. It could be that they have their own lighting. It could be that they are they have 20 years of experience or it could be that they are um, you know highly recommended by a lot of the higher end wedding venues so definitely read reviews take a look at the information that is available outside of their website because some DJs don't necessarily have the best websites that will give you what you need look at reviews and ask people for referrals um, I would say just personally from being in the wedding industry for 13 years the other wedding professionals referring you to a good DJ is probably the best you can ever get. Definitely there. Um, again, don't shop just based on price, but I will tell you that um, the minimum amount for a DJ is probably in our area. The Philadelphia area is probably like $200 an hour. So you can look to be spending about $800 to $1,000 for your DJ minimum. I hope that helped. Um, any other questions? Anybody have any other things that they want to ask me about? Pricing is always a question that I get and I will have to just say that w when you're asking the question about pricing, be as specific as pro possible. So a lot of people say, well, what's a good price for XYZ or what's a realistic price or what's an inexpensive price? I think that what you want to say is, I have X amount of dollars to spend on this. Do you think that that's reasonable? So ask about the amount that you have in mind being reasonable as opposed to saying what's a reasonable price because that's relative. Like I may say that a reasonable price for a photographer is $3,000, but your budget might say that's not reasonable to you. So definitely ask in a different way. So rephrase your questions to actually be very honest about how much money you expect to pay for things and then say, is this reasonable? Or when you're going to see a, a wedding professional, let's just use the photographer again as the example. Um, you can just say, I have $3,000 to spend on photography. What can you do for me with this amount? Um, this photographer may not have an advertised package for $3,000, but they could customize something for you. Or they may say, oh, you know what, we do have a package that would fit your budget. Let's talk about it and see if this fits your style or this meets what you need for your wedding day. Some photographers may only advertise a full wedding day, which is probably 10 to 12 hours. But they'd be willing to come down on the price if you were to cut back some of the hours. Everything, I say everything is negotiable, but negotiable does not mean you ask them to just lower the price. So when you negotiate, there's a give and take. So if you want them to lower the price, you have to take something away that would still meet the value for their services. Does that make sense to you guys? Do you understand what I mean? Um... Like, nobody is just going to be like, oh, yes, you can get the exact same thing before a lower rate just because you asked me. That's not how it works. All right. More questions. Definitely keep asking me more questions. We have about 10 more minutes to go. And I seriously am here just to answer your questions tonight. So ask away. Ask me whatever you want, whether it's about a wedding, a birthday party, um, an anniversary, a baby shower, any type of event, I can answer the questions that you have as long as you ask them. So, you know, I can't read your minds because I can't see your faces. So, 
not that I could read your mind if I did see your face, but you know what I mean. I need you to ask the questions in the comments below. Um, let me ask you guys a question, and this is just a yes or no question. You can answer it um, just right there in the comments. Are you planning a wedding? Yes or no? Answer in the comments below. And I'm going to take a sip of my drink. Okay. Talking makes my mouth dry, so I needed to take a sip. And I hear that the rain has let up a little bit. When I first started, it was coming down in buckets. I'm so glad to hear that it's stopping. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm over it. I'm really over the rain. Um, so I see Brianna. Yes, you are planning a wedding. There's other people here. I can see that you're here. Even if you didn't say hi, I can see numbers of people here. So tell me in the comments below, are you planning a wedding? Yes or no? So something that I wanted to just kind of mention, and I mentioned in, I think, last week's Facebook Live, is that a lot of people are planning 50th birthday parties this year. So yay for 50. One day I'll be there. One day really soon I'll be there. Sooner than I can. I want to be, I'll be there. And I think that it's fabulous when people celebrate like a half century mark. So quarter century is 25. That's not really the big celebration because you just had the 21. And then a lot of people celebrate 40, but people really go out like crazy when they are planning for their 50th birthday. It's a glam fest for the women. The guys usually get retro and they want to go back to the 70s and 80s and have their party theme about, you know, the times when they were growing up. I think it's really, really cool to see how people actually come up with the themes for their parties and they really, like, spend a lot of time and energy and sometimes money on their party. So Sharnice says you're getting married on August the 18th. That's coming really soon. And I like how your date is 8-18-18. You did that on purpose. I know you did. It's cute. And it, it's really soon. So how are things going with your planning? Do you have any questions? Definitely ask me questions if you have them. Like around this time, you're probably stressed out about people who haven't RSVP'd yet. And seating arrangements. And things like that so yeah you can ask me your questions too all right so again i can tell that there's more than two people here all right oh brianna you're not getting married till next year so you're probably just getting started with your plans um did you pick your venue and and then your date or did you have your date first and then you just found a, a venue that was going along yeah Sharnice, i know i can tell <laughs> That's okay. Um, one of my weddings many years ago, actually is 2007, they picked their wedding date to be 7707. So they had lucky sevens. They got married on July 7th, 2007. And of course, every year I'm like, it's 7-7, seven, seven, it's 7-7. Seven, seven. I remember forever. This year was the first year that I had another 7-7 seven, seven wedding. So it took 11 years for me to get to another 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh, I helped you with your venue. Ah, I forgot. <laughs> good, good. I'm glad. I'm glad that you got that all set. I would love to help you more. You know I do. So you can come see me again. And anybody else who hasn't seen me in person yet, um, I do invite all of you to come visit me at my studio. Trilogy Event Design Studio is located in Hatboro. It's about 10 minutes from Willow Grove Mall if you're not familiar with Hatboro. You won the a one hour session. Was it a coaching, a wedding coaching, or was it a Randy to the rescue? Oh, Brianna, Knowlton Mansion. Yes, I remember. I remember. And Knowlton Mansion is so pretty. Yeah, so um, Randy to the rescue was something that I offered at bridal shows, but I was also offering um, a one hour wedding coaching. Nope, it wasn't an hour. I was offering a 30 days of wedding coaching. And then the people who didn't win the wedding coaching was offered the Randy to the rescue for an hour. 
Yeah, see, it's been so long since I did bridal shows, I don't even remember what I was offering. Um, Sharnice says, my grandmother just RSVP'd for the wedding and said her dress is ivory, same color as my dress, and refuses to change it. What can I do with her? Well, it's your grandmother, so there's not too many things that you can do with her, but maybe buy her like a really pretty shawl, like a nice lace shawl that's in a color, and tell her that you picked it out especially for her so that she'll wear it over top of her ivory dress because you know that's a no-no nobody's supposed to look like the bride although she's your grandmother and nobody's going to think she's the bride she still should not be wearing a wedding something that looks like a wedding dress um yeah so buy her a shawl and put it over her shoulders and tell her how much she means to you so hopefully she'll keep that thing on for the entire day <laughs> good luck with that i really hope that she um she realizes that you love her, but the ivory got to go. <laughs> um, yeah, so the at the at the bridal shows, I offer um, to everybody who is in attendance a prize if they text me um, to say that they're interested in winning. So I don't want to like make people think that they're obligated to see me if they don't really want to or they don't feel like they need to. Although I think everybody needs help with their wedding because you've never planned a wedding before, right? This isn't something that you do every day. It's something I do every day. So that's why I want you to come see me. So I am offering to everybody who's here to... Um, visit me. So go to TrilogyEventDesign.com, click on the link at the bottom of my homepage that says schedule a consultation. You can see my calendar and pick a date and time that works for you. Um, right now I'm offering a free initial meeting that's only 30 minutes so it could be by phone or in person so that we can talk a little bit about your wedding. You can tell me what your challenges are. Hi Orion, hey girl, thanks for being here. But we could talk about what your challenges are and we could talk about how I might be able to help you. And then you can make the decision of whether or not you want to work with me. So there's no obligation for this half an hour conversation and it doesn't take up a lot of your time or mine. But we can kind of get to see if this is going to be a good fit and if we should continue on. I think that, you know, that's the best way to do with any client wedding professional type of relationship because there's so many people out there for you to kind of talk to and um, choose from if you have a conversation and you find somebody that you click with those are the ones that you should work with hey song maker productions is that david i did get your message earlier today i wasn't ignoring you i was just really busy i have an upcoming wedding that has me like buried because it's coming up really soon and there's a lot to be done so no i'm not ignoring you i am just this is a very busy season but i'll get back to you david so anyway um Charnice, I hope she changes it too, but it's a couple weeks away, so let's all keep our fingers crossed. Everybody who's here, keep your fingers and toes crossed for Sharnice's grandmother to change her dress. All right, I got my fingers crossed. Um, who else is here? I see a lot of people signed on, but not everybody is saying hi to me. So, you know, I would just appreciate it if you say hi to let me know that you're here and I can say hi back because I really, really appreciate having the audience I don't like talking to myself, so I'm glad that you're here. I'm glad that some of you asked me some questions. Um, when you come back next week, and I hope you will, be prepared to ask me more questions because that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help you to answer your questions about planning a wedding or a party. It doesn't have to be, you know, a wedding. It could be any type of celebration. Hi, Donna. Hey, girl. Um... Yeah, any type of celebration. That's that's what I do. I plan parties for a living and I love my job. I just, it, who wouldn't love planning parties forever? So every time I go to work, it's about a party. I cannot complain. I really can't. It's fun. So again, I want to help you guys ask me questions every week. I'm going to keep coming back every Wednesday at eight o'clock. I'll be here for you. You come back and ask me my questions. Um... But right now, I think it's time for me to go. Let me see. I'm going to check my watch. Yes, it is almost practically 8.30 on the dot. Hey, guy. Hi. So, um, 
yeah, I'm, I'm signing off now. I'm going to tell you guys, go to TrilogyEventDesign.com, click on the schedule consultation link so that we can have an initial meeting, either by phone, video, like we could do this video chat thing, but then I'll be able to see your face too, or you can come to my office. Um, Trilogy Event Design is located in Hatboro, 10 minutes away from Willow Grove Mall. My office hours are by appointment, so you do have to schedule an appointment. I don't take walk-ins, um, but come by, see me. Let's have a little chat. I'll give. We could have coffee or a cocktail or whatever. We could just sit and chat for a little bit about your wedding to see if we would be a good fit and how to move forward from there. As always, best wishes and unicorn kisses. I appreciate you for being here. Thank you so much for your time. I'll talk to you later. And if any of you are watching this on the replay later, make sure that if you post in the comments that you put hashtag replay so that I know when you um, were there and I will respond to that in writing in the comments. Until next week, see you later.